Man, it is cold out there. All right, I guess it's every, everyone. It's time to finally war warm up the frozen. Really, cannot believe you guys just made me do that. Really, I thought. I mean, I thought the stand-up line was good, but that was that was just Disney gold right there. What? Yeah, I know I wrote it. Yeah, what of it? Yes, apparently it's time to break the ice because we're gonna go to Frozen and my writers, ladies and gentlemen, again, clearly using the ice puns and everything else in it. Yes, we're gonna go over Frozen in case you haven't noticed. I am fully stocked and awesome with Frozen, st uh, I guess, toys. I have Olaf, I have Elsa, I have 3D glasses. What else do I want, right? I do need a Sven. I would love a Sven. Anyway, Beauty and the Beast, Little Mermaid, Pocahontas, Hercules, Alice in Wonderland, Aladdin, Snow White. Have I hit your uh, 90s funny bone yet? What do all these have in common? Yes, they're all on VHS. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, for those who don't know, a VHS is a video cassette. Damn. Uh, sorry again. A video cassette is, oh, I forgot, one of the older generation's greatest artifacts. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's, anyway, look, you don't have to worry about it because they're on DVD for you anyway. But all these have in common is that they were all the best animated films of their generations. And they absolutely have, they absolutely have probably one of the greatest soundtracks as well. I mean, it, they just got better and better with, you know, as they progressed. Um, every song was just a memory for me go, uh, going into these old Disney films. Um, I, I, I guess I could probably say this. Uh, maybe, you know, this will, may be uh, another classic to be viewed time and time again over the years for other generations to view. Uh, I, I really do think about it. Like, and and it, I know it's a very, very bold statement to say, but, it, I mean, it even worked out that way, too. Uh, you know, before, like a month before this came out, it actually they actually said that. Uh, that was going to be up to those, you know, you know, Disney par, you, you know, with those films, and they weren't lying. It actually lines with it perfectly, and I loved it. And uh, I, I guess what I could tell you and will say with this good intentions, this film is, like I said, is up there with its predecessors. Uh, you know, Frozen takes us back to, you know, Disney's past, you know, to when characters, you know, just started singing out of nowhere, and you know, great characters, and forgive the pun here, but it, it warms your heart, and uh, I loved every aspect of this film, and every time, and I mean, you know, every time, and every aspect, the, the scenes right w after one another were just, just as fun, as entertaining as the next, <clears throat> the characters, you know, were, were seriously, uh, dis di I don't know what it is with Disney characters, but Disney really knows how to pull the heartstrings on their characters, and, you know, when building characters, I love, you know, the story uh, that goes with them, you know, it, you know, there's, it's a story of two sisters separated, you know, by a lost memory, and, of, and of course, a man, uh, a true love, makes an, uh, makes an appearance, I mean, who knows what uh, Journey Frozen has in store for you when you go to check it out, but I say, of course, yes, this is Disney, and it, so it has all the trimmings of what you need uh, in a common fairy tale Disney film. Meaning, you know, what basically if if you watched every Disney film, probably every uh, every one that's been made, you know, with princesses, it, there's sta there's staples that go with it. Um, there, you know, there's always a true love interest. Uh, you know, true love conquers all, and nobody physically dies, uh, unless it's the parents, because they always seem to die in this film. I mean, you clearly saw the murder of Mufasa and the Lion King. I mean, that alone just, you know, brings everyone's te uh, tears to their eyes. Um, there's, always, there's always a princess and a, and a prince, uh, a princess or a prince that fall in love with, you know, the, the lower class, uh, if you will, and uh, I wouldn't, and to be honest, I wouldn't have it any other way with this film because it's just fantastic through and throughout you know i there's there's just there's so much that i want to say but i can't say it be, because it's there's just so much and so little time to do especially in the in the in this review you know i tried to condense it but there's just so much that i want i actually had to i literally had a full page and i literally had to condense it 
you know, to to for only a few paragraphs. Um, but there are a lot of aspects in this film that are my favorite. But there's one that actually stood out, and at least in my opinion, uh, it was it was the main. It was mainly focused on on the Anna and Elsa relationship, the two sisters. Um, granted, Anna and Kristoff find each other, and obviously have chemistry together, but I love that they didn't push their love, because technically they didn't even love each other, they were just, Kristoff was just a bystander, uh, you know, by, by, you know, when they met, and they don't really push them together, uh, they don't really focus it until that, you know, the troll, the, the troll sing the song, but they don't really push it, even after that, they don't even push it, and, uh, and until, you know, when it's supposed to, and, I mean, you, you'll, you'll basically find out what I'm talking about when you see the film. Uh, I, and, I, and I can't. Frozen, you know, without men, uh, without Frozen mentions the spe uh, spectacular voiceover talent they had in this film. And I mean spectacular. I mean, you have Christian Bell, Miss Veronica Mars herself, uh, Idea Menzel, the Broadway beautiful. I mean, seriously, every fucking note she hit. You know, it was just like if she, if she was just performing a Broadway play, it definitely brought a great aspect to the film, like as if I were watching a play. Uh, Jonathan Croft, uh, to the Gleek, to the Gleeks out there, I know you're listening because I know you just heard that name. Uh, funny man, Josh Gad, who you, pro you probably know if you saw him. Uh, he was actually recently uh, Wozniak in Jobs, and my personal favorite here, uh, Mr. Alan Turdak. Trust me, you definitely see him around, uh, I guarantee it. He was actually in it as well. Uh, I enjoyed him in there. Um, but everyone was phenomenal, and uh, the amazing voices, you know, delivering such beautiful songs, and and it's really what. And again, here, uh, it really it's really the Disney magic of the film. That's what makes a classic Disney film work. Is a great soundtrack, and great people behind that soundtrack are what brings everyone together and enjoy it even more. Um, the songs were just as amazing as the cast sung them. You know, they sung them amazingly. I literally, it, I literally bought the soundtrack as soon as I got home right after I saw it. That's how good this was. You know, the songs will catch your heart. And you, you actually, uh, like most Disney songs, you actually hear every lyric and connect with it. And it could not have been sung better you know, with any other cast. I mean, like I said before, Menzel and Bell were brilliantly chosen, and I mean brilliantly chosen. Uh, I couldn't have asked for anyone better. Um, and the character development as well uh, is amazing. I mean, Elsa and Anna were, were built fantastically because, you know, El Elsa, you know, she, it, Elsa acted realistically. She's strong, but she cries. You know, but she's, you know, she's independent, but she's, but she's lonely. Powerful, but fearful. You know, it was, it was very beautifully done with all the characters and and they melt and they converged uh fantastically together uh, you know as the movie went along you know i keep saying it but i i just you know it's 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 true beyond and you know with every part of this film this film was so amazing and it was filled with such winter wonderment you know with fantastic character development and every bit of this film is beautifully done and the story I guarantee it, it will catch your heart and make you cry, you know, uh, shut up, Mickey, I saw you, I saw some tears, I'm watching you, uh, but in all seriousness, uh, it was, it was magnificent, it was a magnificent Disney film, um, that will capture you and, you know, put you in a trance, that will make you fall in love, uh, with it over and over again, I guarantee, again, I definitely guarantee that, you know, I've, I've seen it at least maybe four times by this, by the time this airs, I've at least seen it that many times, and I probably will see it more than that uh, as the time goes on. So, uh, yes, if you actually haven't gotten that yet, I strongly, wholeheartedly recommend this film for all ages. The kiddies will love it, you know, especially Olaf and, you know, Kristoff and, and Sven, even though he doesn't talk. But so for some reason, he's just a good, fun character. Um, even the adults will love it, you know, the, the comedy, the, the heartwarming story. I mean, please go see this. It's one of the best original movies that has come out in a long time. Um, I, I I downloaded the soundtrack and or bought the soundtrack, you know, because it's just it's just brilliantly done, uh, you know, with Idea Menzel and Bell and everybody else who just gave great voices to it. Just remember to stay warm when you go because you will be frozen. Get it? Because I'm funny and not funny because they wrote that line. I didn't. I swear. 
Um, <laughs> but yes, please do that. Make sure you guys stay warm. You can also stay warm by making sure you guys click that subscribe button. Yes, you can. You can do that right over there. And make sure you guys hit the, make sure you share it on Facebook and on Twitter or any other social media website you choose to have nowadays. I mean, there's fucking Vine. I don't even get that anymore. Um, but yeah, please share it as, uh, wherever you can. Yes, I am wearing an elf hat because I am awesome and it's Christmas time, so they make me wear it. Um, make sure you guys can stay tuned because uh, next week will be uh, Delivery Man. So uh, make sure you guys stay tuned for that.